Yo, what is going on Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. And I think for this video, I'm just gonna be doing a brief reflection of basically giving my thoughts on the year 2020. A lot has happened this year that has been pretty significant for most people. And I'm just gonna be talking about a lot of that stuff, how it relates to needs, and as well as sharing some of the more personal things that have been going on in my life during this year and my own personal observations about myself and about what it's been like being a neat for almost four years now well basically four years already so anyways without further ado let the video let's start the video so um 2020 has been a pretty interesting year as i've said one one of the obvious things that has hap affected most people is the COVID pandemic. I'm pretty sure if the COVID pandemic didn't happen, then I would basically just say that this year has been pretty much the same as every other year in my life. But the pandemic has basically, I feel, change in my opinion has changed the overall awareness of uh you know the state of needdom and hickeys and needs and the whole lifestyle about being unemployed because the pandemic really uh forced a lot of people out of their ordinary daily wage slave routines work life routines or whatever um Although it hasn't really done the same for me, but I definitely noticed that, you know, for example, the r slash neat subreddit grew quite a bit over this time period. I feel, I know that I've, some of the people that I've talked to on online have basically stated that they only became really aware of neats and hickeys only after the pandemic started and, you know, became exposed to this sort of culture. And overall, I'd say, you know, it's it's been kind of a meme that, you know, the COVID pandemic is basically what needs have been training for their entire lives, you know, like all this, all this time spent rotting away, consuming media endlessly, lying in bed all day, on being on being on my phone sitting in a chair playing games and training tr been training my uh my pec my pecs and my abs to get extra tight so i'm always permanently slouched with uh no effort required you know all of that has been training for this this moment this moment where needs would ascend and inherit the earth as all the normies and wages would all die off and uh you know or lose their minds as the covid pandemic swept across the world and you know left millions unemployed exposing them for the first time to what needs have been have been um living through for anywhere from i don't know years or even decades for some needs and that you know you know that whole batman that whole batman quote by by bane where he's like where he's where he says you merely adopt you merely adopt the dark but i was born by it molded by it i never i never saw i never saw the light until i was a man and something whatever the, whatever that quote is from the dark knight rises i think it's the dark knight rises right yeah it's batman begins the Dark Knight, The Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, that quote where he basically says that stuff, I feel like a lot of needs could, prob <laughs> could probably, uh, you know, relate to that to an extent. Obviously, I'm kind of shitposting when I think like that or say that. I kind of think like that humorously, but I definitely do. I definitely do know that a lot of needs probably felt that way a sense of almost pride and you know maybe a bit of 
I don't know what the right word is, disgust, indignation at the, you know, fragility of most quote unquote normal. I'm not going to say the word normal blank. Uh, if you're neat, you probably know what I'm, what the word is. Although I am pretty normy myself, but I did, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel some sort of pride in the fact that I could basically survive through 10 pandemics, 10 lockdown periods. I could, for all, for all, for all I care, COVID could last for the rest of my life. There could be a new pandemic every single year and lockdowns every, every month. And honestly, if I'm being honest, it's not optimal, but I could definitely survive through it. So, I mean, I definitely took a little bit of pride in that. I mean, I'm sure most needs did because as disgusting as that sounds, and I know how terrible the lockdown and COVID is, but I mean, needs don't really have a lot going for them. So I guess it's their instinct to latch on to whatever they could take pride in, whatever could boost their self-esteem. You know, obviously I'm kind of, I'm, I was kind of being ironic when I thought like that and when I say things like that, but I'm pretty sure there's some truth behind that feeling. So anyways, that's COVID. And aside from that, like I was saying, I brought a lot of awareness to the whole neat situation. And I'm pretty sure there will only be more awareness with time as, you know, things like automation and AI develop further and basically displace a lot of the workforce, I think, as well as the fact that many companies have probably changed their internal structure and have been relying less on in-person labor and more on remote work, probably because it's a lot cheaper than renting offices and people waste time in the office anyways, they'll find a way to waste time. So I think a lot of companies have wisened up to that fact and have thought to themselves, if they're going to waste time anyways in the office, I might as well just, we might as well just let our employees stay at home. So remote work is becoming a lot more common. And I feel like it will only get more and more common as, you know, businesses continue to close down or restructure to save money and all that. I'm not, obviously I have no understanding of economic principles. This is just me talking out of my ass, but that's my opinion on that. And I don't feel like society will move back to the old way of things or yeah. So, and the whole rise of remote work, I feel, although remote workers aren't technically needs, I feel like they are pseudo needs in a way because they definitely, a lot of people who are inclined to remote work tend to have needish tendencies anyway, or tend to be, you know, predisposed to being neat or meet many of the risk factors of being neat, which I talked about in a different video, as well as the fact that I feel like they're more, if anything, a lot of them have the potential to become hickeys because hickeys can work, but it's a fact that they're isolated in the room all day. Hickeys are allowed to make money. Neats aren't allowed to make money. So to be considered neat technically. So yes, but I feel like there's a lot of similarities between neats and hickeys. So that's my opinion on that. So anyways, enough about the whole macro perspective on 2020. And now I'm going to talk about my own personal observations about myself during this year. And uh, well, I mean, there's not really much to say except the fact that another year has flown by and almost nothing has changed in my life. If I'm being truly honest with myself, I think about the exact same time last year, I was telling myself that 2020 would be the year that I ascend and I'm still young. I'm still in my early mid twenties, my, I say early mid twenties, but really I'm in my mid twenties already. And 
I was telling myself that, you know, this year would be the year that I ascended, that I, that I changed, that I got rid of my social anxiety, that I became a functioning member of society, found a way to make money online and all that. I had all these lofty goals that I set for myself and none of them have pretty much been achieved, unfortunately. But it's not like I haven't made any progress. I am, I feel, making slow and steady progress in some areas, like for example, the boxing and MMA stuff. I really have improved my punching power to an extent. Um, I don't think I could beat anybody in a fight 100% or even 80% yet, but I do feel like my chances of winning a street fight with a random person, even someone slightly bigger than me, maybe went up from, let's say, 10% to like 50%, maybe not 10, maybe like 30% to 50%, uh, because I, I can actually hit pretty hard without a lot of effort. If I sucker punch somebody in the chin, I'm pretty sure I could knock out most people. That's not to say I could land anything in an actual fight, but I think that's somewhat, that's something to be proud of, I guess. Another thing is that I have been learning guitar recently over the past maybe two months, and I have come a decent, not, I have come a decent way since starting. Um, I know a lot of basic chords, so there's that. Um, but as far as like my music production goes, it almost feels like I'm always taking one step forward and two steps backward. And maybe that's just all in my subjective opinion. Because as some, as, as some have pointed out, I tend to be a little bit of a perfectionist or, or an overthinker. So that is something that I'll need to work on. I'll, I'll talk probably talk about it in my New Year's resolution video, which I'll record tomorrow. But yeah, aside from that, I haven't really made that much progress. I feel like I've improved ever so slightly in numerous areas of my life, but it almost feels like I'm always, I still feel like I'm always maybe 10 steps behind everybody else. And while I am improving, I am improving, I'm not improving fast enough. And it feels like society, the world, my peers, time, everything seems to be outrunning me faster than I can move. So the question is, the, the question in my mind is whether this is all in my head and that I'm actually improving at the pace that I should be. You know, maybe everything is meant to be the way it is as far as my progress goes, as far as my existence goes even. Maybe I'm just destined to be a need or maybe I will ascend one day and I am on the right track and I just need to keep at it. Or maybe, you know, maybe I do need to kick my ass into shape and get my shit together. So that's one of these questions that has been always bothering me. I'm already, one thing that I have noticed is that I am starting to get injured, minor injuries, uh, but I'm, I'm getting injured a lot more and I am noticing that my body tends to ache just a little bit more each year. I felt it especially more so this year. Um, I feel like I am less and less able to get away with a lot of the things that I used to get away with before, like bad posture and bad diet. If I eat something really unhealthy, like, I don't know, I'm a gangbang, which is basically a junior chicken sandwich in between a Big Mac and like a large fries and a milkshake, which I have eaten on a, which I have eaten maybe once this year. But if I eat something really unhealthy, it's really greasy, I will feel extremely lethargic. I also am noticing that I am getting tired and tireder and tireder. I am having less and less energy and, you know, life certainly isn't getting easier. I used to always tell myself the back of the, at the back of my head, you know, one day I'm just gonna break out of my laziness, my depression, I'll become a hardworking person. I will 
suddenly flip a switch and everything will be good and I'll be able to be motivated. But let me tell you, I haven't shown any signs of motivation my entire life. And let me tell you that as far as the raw energy goes, it definitely does not get easier with time. Now that I think back on it in retrospect, I definitely had a lot more energy um, when I was younger, even maybe two or three years ago. It's just that that energy was being wasted on things like addictions and I don't know, cooming and video games and useless crap my emotional energy, my emotions and being all pent up and emotional about things that didn't matter. It was all being wasted on that crap. And now that I'm getting older and reaching my mid twenties, I am starting to notice that my energy is finite, that I need to, that I'm, that I'm needing to sleep more and more, that I can't get away with sleeping later at these really weird hours and that, this, that my bad sleep schedule is starting to catch up with me so and my diet too so I'm basically becoming more more and more aware of my own mortality so I think that is both a good thing and a bad thing because it's bad because it's kind of regretful that I couldn't have spent all that energy and time um pursuing something meaningful while I was younger, but um, maybe things are panning out as it should and that maybe this decrease in energy and this new awareness of the finite nature of my willpower and my motivation, my energy is basically starting to, you know, maybe scare me into shape. It's starting to force me to pay more attention to what's important to me in my life, um, what things affect me positively and negatively, and what things that, and basically making me treasure my time and myself more because it's just the pass the passage of time is becoming more and more um, salient, more and more um, obvious to me as I grow older. So that is um, one of the things that I have noticed, especially this year. I don't know if it's a product, if it's a product of my of my biology. You know, like once you pass a certain age, you start to become more and more aware of the passage of time, or if it's just maybe my own personal realizations. But that's what I have basically become really aware of this year in 2020 and I'm hoping that next year is a year where I will begin to manage my quote unquote resources, the things that I have access to a lot more wisely. That's definitely one of my biggest hopes. Again, I'll talk about that in my next video, which is going to talk about my New Year's resolutions. But um, as far as other realizations go, I also realized um, a lot of things about myself. Um, oh, I will say that 2020 has been good in the sense that I made this channel and exposed myself to the outside world. And although it does have its downsides sometimes, I feel like overall it has been a good thing exposing myself out there to have a social circle again, even if it's just... An, an online one because I feel like it is good to get feedback from the outside world, practice socializing. And, you know, although people don't tell you directly, they actually do give you feedback about yourself. They actually do tell you things about yourself if you just pay attention to the way they behave around you. And I feel like me isolating myself for all these years has definitely been, been a negative because it kind of trapped me in this sort of delusions that I was living. This, these delusions of, you know, I'm not going to say grandeur, but safety, I guess, comfiness that in my head that everything was fine. Like, you know, that meme where the dog is like, 
everything is fine as the room is burning around him. That was basically me before I made this channel and exposed myself to the outside world and went on Discord and talked to people. Um, I really have learned a lot about myself. I'm pretty sure I figured out the underlying mental illness that I suffer from thanks to talking to people. No one told me directly, but I sort of figured it out. Um, and that's something that I'll talk about in the future as well. Um, and yeah, but I'm thankful that I got to meet a lot of people. So I think that's, again, a good thing about 2020 making this channel. And yeah, as far as other realizations go, I can't really think of anything. This video is probably pretty long anyways. And if I can remember anything else while editing this, well, I'm not even gonna edit this. I'm just gonna upload it straight from my phone because uh, well, actually I'll edit it, whatever. Um, anyways, this is Company signing out and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, hit the like and subscribe button if you guys liked this content and peace.